Did Vinny drop frames? Yes, I did. I see that. 863 dropped frames, which might have something to do with loading the game up for the first time. Use the bongos. Someone will beat Resident Evil 4 with the bongos. Oh no! All my frames is gone! You're a fine knight, Don Quixote. Oh, right. Controller works. Get away with this Krauser. So, oh man, where, where do I even begin? Uh, last time I played this, I fought Krauser, who kind of looks like Tom Berenger. Anyone else notice that? Who? Uh, no, no one. Just some, just some guy. Don't worry about it. I was watching, um, speaking of, of, uh, but he was in Platoon, right, Tom Berenger? For the three people that know that. I was watching, um, that YouTube channel dude, Cinema Tyler, and he has videos about Apocalypse Now and the creation of. Did you know they got hit with a real typhoon on the set of that movie? Well, I say the set, hey, but, like, on There's location. Only to say this once, so listen up. They took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, you might get there before she turns into one of them. Ah, uh, so you aren't heartless after all. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. Okay. Yeah, you should. So yeah, um, Apocalypse Now, just a fun fact. A lot of things went wrong, constantly. Uh, but then they got hit with a typhoon. I think I mentioned that on stream. Actually, never mind, that, that's a repeat. Oops, that's a, that's a repeated bit. Uh-oh! Someone help me recover a stolen jewel snatched by a thieving crow. You can, uh, it can be found near the vile thing's nest. That detestable Ramon Salazar. Even the very sight of his image makes my skin crawl. Do me a favor and find some way to deface the portrait of him in the room shown in the photograph, will ya? I'm not particular about how you do it. Hitting it with something might do the trick. Hit it with a golden egg. Something's bound to catch your eye. Welcome. What can I interest you in? Oh. oh, my back is killing me. Years haven't been kind to us, I suppose. Next time, buy something, eh? Um, yeah, people are saying, I, I already know th uh, that there's an egg thing with, with Salazar. He's got, like, a thing for eggs. I don't have a golden egg, anyway. Ah. I sold it. You can get one. Oh, there's another one. Did you find the turtle suit yet? No, you have to do S rank professional to get turtle suit, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, stranger. Where does this the go? Clock tower. Hang in there, Ashley. Did he know? Oh wait, so you chat is saying um go back?
you'd miss those two jobs. Oh, the two jobs were previous areas. I understand. Ha, I get the picture. So it turns out that that big shark movie that Tommy Wiseau made, I think I talked about this too, but god, I don't remember. Um, did we talk about this chat? The big shark movie? Where I interviewed Greg and he said that the movie wasn't real, it was just that one trailer and he had no knowledge of the movie otherwise? Not today, but... So Tommy was supposed to be directing a movie called Big Shark and when I interviewed Greg, he was in it at the time. And he said, uh, yeah, I got nothing on that movie. Apparently it was just a trailer and we couldn't get the movie made. And then, there's like, the full movie exists, and Greg was at the screening. Now I'm like, really fucking confused. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? He wasn't in it. I think Tommy reshot all the scenes with Greg. The Greg scenes with someone else. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. I mean, it could have been an NDA, or it could have just been like, Tommy being Tommy. The throne room is the other door, Vinny. Whoa. I'm looking for it. Well, there's the courtyard. There's the wine cellar. Water hall. Audience chamber. Grand hall. Other side of the ballroom. Empty chamber, throne room. Oh, stranger. Why has Tommy not made a vampire movie yet? I think that's kind of what he really wants to do. He just hasn't done it yet. It seems he really likes vampires, and truthfully, he kind of looks like one. I mean, he wears his hair long, and he's, like, pale and stuff. I feel like he, he would make a good vampire. Also, has anyone noticed the color grading gets weird in this game? Like, there's moments where it just switches instantly. Oh, this is... This is awful. Next. Oh, that was just a long, slow death. Got it. So, yeah, Leon and Ashley get winded very, very quickly. I would be winded after three steps, but, I mean, in video game terms, it seems like they get winded fairly quickly. October. Eight years since my awakening. At last, my noble pursuit progression has final form. The fusion of human and insect. The housekeeper has graciously volunteered herself for the experiment. I shall pour my whole heart into this endeavor in order to transcend humanity to make Master Ramon proud. Nine years since my awakening. A glorious union has been made. The housekeeper has endured much suffering, but not for naught. Behold the fruits of our labor in all its beauty. I shall consecrate this perfect life form with the name U3. For three is the most beautiful and complete number. Nine years after my awakening in April, you three, my dear hound Pisanta, has been chosen to serve as the right hand of Master Ramon. But is two not better than one? Now it is my turn to demonstrate my loyalty. His humble servant is... Si is wow.
My lord, my true benevolent father, bless the Salazar bloodline with an iron hammer. The founder of my family proclaimed the holy teachings of Los Illuminados evil and persecuted its followers. Not only that, but he stole their most prized possession and sealed it below the castle. Blasphemy! Insolence! How long have I suffered the shame of knowing that the same blood flows through my veins? Finally, the day of atonement has come, Stimpy. Oh, my beloved Lord Sadler, I shall release the holy plagas that were hidden under the castle. The time is now. With divine <clears throat> with divine grace, the wicked shall be reborn as part of the flock, reborn as Ganado. They shall be my Lord's loyal servants. Nothing would please me more than to sit at my Lord's feet and bask in your splendor. I am your humble servant. You are my eternal light. To you I swear my unwavering allegiance. I figured, yeah, I figured I'd have to throw an egg at the painting. There's an egg in the hole just at the mine, or whatever that was. O oh, Master Ramon, with tomorrow's procedure, I shall finally surpass the limitations of this mortal shell. What's left of me now shall soon be gone. Magnificent, the holy body is a wondrous miracle. The fealty I've sworn to Master Ramon is the sole light that illuminates my path. Our fates shall be entwined until the very end. Have you ever known such lo loyalty? What is a man? It's good to be the king. Does it just keep zooming? Oh, okay. So there's the brown chicken egg. <clears throat> to be clear, this painting, right? That's Disgrace true. the Salazar family. I can see how people discovered this. I thought that, you know what happened when I saw online that people were saying um, the golden egg can damage Salazar heavily? I thought that just, it was one of those random things that people do. Like, they took the golden egg to the Salazar fight. You know, the one from hours ago. But, yeah. Looks like there's actually some evidence, some hint, that maybe you'd want to use that. So now I need to find the uh, crow. Locked drawer. There's still that locked drawer, but... Uh, I don't know if I have a key. If you have two golden eggs, you can kill Salazar like that. It's in the maze. Here. Whew. 
not within the maze itself, like, oh, near the maze. So yeah, I'll head over there. I also could sell the golden egg and make a decent amount of money from it, right? So, I mean, I might just do that and then shoot. And, and then shoot. That was the end of the sentence, just, and then shoot. I love when games have physics like this. Where, like, I like to call it main character does not give a fuck. Like, Dead Space does that as well. Dark Souls. Uh, well, you know, Elden Ring. The ones I've played. Yeah, like when items have, they, they seem like when, when the furniture and background just has no weight to it whatsoever. Hey, that's not it. Don't mind if I do. That is it. Oh. Took care of her request, did ya? <laughs> nice work. Ooh, what you buying? I guess I have to sell it now. Oh, it's the scratched emerald, right? Okay. Your valuables won't hurt. You're a real professional. <laughs> well done. You've proven yourself reliable. He says it like so sassy. Good luck to you, stranger. Good as new. Will that be your come back any time? One of these, um, fellows lost his, uh, cortisone. You ever think, like... Well, I guess they were devoted to Salazar and Sadler. But you ever think, maybe, like, before the Plagas, they had a life? You know? And they had, like, things going on, and, and then they just kinda said... You know what? I'll take, um, I'll take some plague real quick, if you don't mind. Or maybe they didn't have a choice. Just want to do a little suplex. You missed item on the back wall of the fountain area. Uh... Are you... You're really dead? While I'm here, I'm not even sure if I have a key for it. I might. 
hidden expensive item at the fountain. Um, no, I have Lewis's key. Oh well. So what's this hidden item at the fountain though, chat member? There's a key in the tram car area before the clock tower. Okay. There's a beetle, a funny bug. I th oh, I picked up a beetle at some point. I don't know if... Apparently there's one here too, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass on the, um... On that key and that treasure. I'll just, I'll just have to miss that. Oh. There it is. Oh, it's like Animal Crossing. Breaks over on Welcome. Got a selection. It's like how'd you even get here so fast, dude? Sale, stranger. A deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> Series of spiral staircases. Hidden passages all over. It's like, um... What's his name? Varus and, and Littlefinger. In, um... In Westeros, in King's Landing. <laughs> Kid named Finger. Littlefinger and Varys had the best fucking sass with one another. Prove me wrong. They were two of the most compelling characters. Until... Until they just... Kind of were dumb. And then they were written real stupid. And, uh, yeah, the, the, the writers... It's interesting, because you could see when the writers, like, got dumber, because their characters got dumber, too. It's very interesting how that happens. From porn scenes to porn writing. Exactly. Boot night. Boot. Boot night. Weiss and Benioff were the worst things to happen to TV in our lifetimes. I... no. Alex Kurtzman exists. Listen. One... seasons one to four of Game of Thrones are still great TV. And even though later seasons are... Five... I, this is a conversation I've had many times, but even though five and six are kind of... I would say they're... That's when the trouble starts to set in. And some of it's real bad, but some of it's pretty good. And then just pretend that 7 and 8 don't exist. So, the fact that they had anything to do with those first four seasons, and then ended up being so terrible, is just Welcome. mind and ball numbing. <laughs> Hard times, mate. It, it numbs the balls. 
Oh, this is where the key is. Okay. What What's the treasure back there anyway? Is it anything worth getting? Because, I mean, that's going to be another, like, ten minutes at least to go back and forth. Ornate beetle. It's 12k. It sells for like 10k. Ah. Hello, stranger. Did you get the assault rifle? I did. I forgot I did, but I have it. He for gore. That's right. I would, yeah, I mean, I would waste all the ammo on that in, you know, a couple seconds, and that would be it. Then it would just take up room in my inventory. You are nothing, if not unyielding, Mr. Kennedy. However, I'm afraid it ends here. Expel this intruder! Shit. Oh, right, the clock tower segment. Not bad, yes, not bad right. Exactly. Glitch right into the fucking thing. Who's he talking to? He's talking to us. Hear it. It's here somewhere. Oh. What are they saying? Somehow they managed to make the chance even creepier. Oh my lord, we are your hammer. Oh god, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, don't go into it, Leon.
sorry. It must have slipped. Oh, good aim. Again. Keep coming. I tried. I tried to shoot it out of the air. Got hit three times with those fucking axes. that with the knife but it keep getting these things how many did they manufacture there's so many of them oh fuck hang on i just need to eat this whole fish raw No. No. That was going to be awesome. So it is Looney Tunes. Where'd they go? Did they try to run away from the spike balls or did they all die already? Mercenaries mode just released. Definitely gonna try that. I don't know if I'll play it tonight, but I'm definitely going to be playing it. Do 
you not need to beat it first? Possible. I'm not sure. Do you? to play separate ways when it comes out. Honestly, whatever whatever they put out for this game, I'm just going to play. I, I don't really care what it is. A lift. How thoughtful. Mental! Mental! Good shot. Another one of you. What's happening? What's happening to this dude? Oh, he just melted. Okay. Get off! Get off the lift! I didn't sell my golden egg, right? Wow. Someone wanted to know if there were any previews I was interested in uh, during the Mario movie. I don't remember. Other than the ducks. There's a duck movie.
egg trailer? I didn't see egg trailer. Ashley. Are you going to watch Barbie starring Ryan Gosling? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it looks so fucking weird. That son of a bitch. There were people saying that it, it um, it's probably gonna end up being a Lego movie situation. No, Lego Movie it is good. It's really good, but um, I, I mean, I watched the trailer and there were some genuinely funny and s silly moments. And for some reason, Michael Sarah is in it. Uh, it seems self-aware, and maybe it'll be fun. That was fun. You know, chat, I just wasn't... I just wasn't totally sure. That son of a bitch. Some of us are trying to sleep. <laughs> this is a chat member. Vinny, I'm new here. Are you sure you're not some kind of character? Ah. Ah. Oh no, that's just Duindy. Nothing to worry about. I... I... I don't know. You kind of stunlocked me a little bit, because I, I kind of... I took that as like, um... Aren't we all characters in our own lives? And then I, you know, I realized, well, obviously the person that I am when I'm streaming is different from real life. But the line is so blurred. It's so... I mean... You're still getting... A pretty... You know, I mean, this is me. But but how much me? And how much am I, like, on when I'm streaming versus when I'm not? And I think, you know, people that know me would, would know the answer to that. Better than I would. That's, I know you were making a little joke question there, chat member, Welcome. but you... You, you, Ooh, you, you broke me. You broke me. Vinny, this statement is false. What? Twenty-five, two hundred. Take care of any. Li Welcome. A deal well struck. <laughs> kind of want to sell that golden egg. I'll buy almost anything. 
don't. Why do... Will that be all, then? Don't sell throw. Ah. Ah! Try that on for size. This kind of work is about crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Where would it? Don't throw on your first playthrough. Well, that I, I think I agree with. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> what do you mean I don't go around saying suplex in a funny voice in real life, chat? No, I'm not a character. Say the line, Bart. I go through my uh, my moments so. where I wonder. I have delivered the girl to you as Am I real? <laughs> do tell our Lord to not forget the loyalty of His servant Ramon. <clears throat> Does is Vinny is real? Ashley. With lore, sadly. You talk too much. You failed. Ah, you vulgar, utterly uncivilized. Ah, mongrel. I I love that. I love that. Just shoot him in the face while he's talking. Perfect. So, Chad, I'm not going to use the egg. Well, then, why don't you show me what a first class credit is like? Do your own actions. Huh. Uh, the reason I'm not going to use it is because the only thing we'd be seeing is the egg hit and, and he take damage. So chat, I'm going to use the egg. And so So don't get to carry away. You'll be just seeing this 
over. Get me out of your crappy script. Well then, why don't you show me what a first class critic is like? Through your own actions! Where, where the fuck? Where? Where? Watch your language, my lord. This is an interesting take on this fight. Just vomiting filth. Body armor is getting fucked up. What the fuck is this guy talking about? Why well, he hates Leon so much. But chill the fuck out. I know why he hates Leon, because Leon shot him while he was delivering a speech. Oh, God. I must admit, that was rather entertaining, Mr. Kennedy. I don't want to use the egg. Leon has never even once heard of the Tenga egg. Answer. And he definitely hasn't used it. Jeez. Says the worm. shit. I don't know. Why not? I was really set against using that egg. 
But now that I've done it, I feel even worse about that decision. You can always reload. Hmm. How how many times do you have to stab the uh, the face eye? Three? Three or more. Someone said restart from the beginning of the game. It doesn't insta-kill him, it only takes him down a stage. You see that? That's a glitch. Because sometimes it, it fades and it's fine, and sometimes it's like insta-cut color grading. Um... Ashley. No time to lose. He was almost dead anyway, this is standard mode. I mean, I did shoot him a couple times, not a whole lot. It's fine. It's fine, chat. I threw the egg. I got a- I got a chuckle out of it. It was a weird chuckle, but it was a sensible chuckle. This guy is not a pro gamer. I know. No one said that. I'm inventing chat members. Let me have this. Krauser. Where do you think you're taking her? Let me do what I do in my head anyway, which is invent a critic. Again, on a large enough scale of people that know you, you don't have to invent a critic. Someone said, I don't know you, Vinny. That goes back to what we were saying earlier. Ashley? Ashley? Ashley, is that you? Ashley! Ah, I can hear her. Where is she? Ashley! Ashley! No, that's not Ashley. Just doing my part. Ashley! I failed you, my lord. I was unable to fulfill your final commandment and keep the boy from the path of wickedness. I caught a glimpse of Master Ramon's evil temperament during his younger years, when he discovered a servant mocked him by uttering Hogar... Hogarcito behind his back. He summoned her to his private chambers. After forcing her to kneel before him, Ramon doused her face with a vial of vitriol he pulled out of his pocket. The young master watched with glee when the servant writhed in agony as the skin melted from her face. His twisted grin still haunts my dreams to this very day. As time passed, Ramon tre Ramon's treachery only deepened, and that infernal cult soon learned they could prey upon his vulnerable heart. Curse the fiends. 
They've manipulated Master Ramon and turned him into their puppet. Worst of all, they've managed to use him to unleash Las Plagas that the Salazar family has fought so long and hard to keep sealed away. Lord Diego, rest assured I intend to watch over Master Ramon until the very end, whatever fate may befall us. As a faithful servant of the Salazar family since birth, it is my duty and my penance to you. There's no way Ramon didn't smell, like, really bad. Perfect. Won't have to swim after all. No thanks, bro. Should get a negative achievement for throwing the egg at Salazar. He smelled like vinegar and baby powder. Oh, so he smelled like the controller. The plug-and-play from Sunday. I have something to ask you. But I don't think I'll get a straight answer. Raccoon City. You know, after the incident, the world changed. You try to save one person, a hundred others die. I guess I changed too. <laughs> you? Leon S. Kennedy. You haven't changed. You just think you have. Sorry, the boat's really loud. I can't question. hear you. Have you changed, Ada? Or are you just trying to use me again? What do you think? We're here. Don't think too hard, handsome. See you later. Okay. The story of my life. Story of my life. Chat, this island looks really wet. Like, those are some good wet graphics. So this was the weakest part of original Resident Evil 4 for me. Not that it was bad, it just... You know, there were some definitely really high points, there's some great moments. But it was, um, I guess atmospherically and tonally, like, a little too different from the castle in the first part. In a way that... It wasn't as good. Spotlights. Let's avoid those. Looks cool, though. I mean, this, this engine makes it look amazing. Ashley. There you are. It's Shadow Midgar Island. Ugh, Colonel, I've infiltrated the Mako facility. Good job, Snake. Snakey. Snakey boy. Snakey, what, what are you wearing on your head? Mm -hmm. 
need to hurry. Diaper off! Pa 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 pa. Snake. S Snake. Have you heard about Diaper off? New worst bit unlocked. Are you going to play Final Fantasy VII Power Wash Simulator update when it comes out? I really don't want to. I just don't enjoy Power Wash Simulator. I, I wanted to, and like they even sent me like a gnome and some stuff, some stickers and like a hat. And, you know, they, they actually sent me physical stuff and yet... I play that game and I want to jump out of my own skin. Do you remember, um, what was it, a Nickelodeon thing? Inside Out Boy? Like, he went too far on the swing and then he, like, ended up turning himself inside out. Does anyone remember that? For some reason, Power Wash Simulator just does not work for me. It's, it's a very far from re relaxing experience. Memory unlocked. Yeah. Also, someone said my worst bit is Brian Johnson from ACDC being fed like a little bird. Got some new wares, stranger. You're in for a treat. Welcome. I got something new for you. Pillar 7, huh? Now cash in your pocket or your life. Easy choice, mate. All right, Brian. It's time to eat, little yum dums. Yeah! Right, Brian, just there. Let me get you a little bit of this Wendy's I just had. Ow. Ruby's all rubbish. A deal well struck. <laughs> Thank you. Well, then, what can I do you for? Should I sell the Magnum and get this? You'll get some bang for your buck. I guarantee it. I'll buy almost anything. <laughs> Thank you. Anything else I can help? What? You yum yum. Why not try your hand at a new gun? Stranger? I could just see Brian Johnson in like a little nest, and like high up on a tree. Honestly, this might be the only. Well, Angus Young in a schoolboy outfit. Like flies over to him. That's good work, if I do say so myself. Good luck to you, stranger. And like, he's like, Brian, why is the tree all burnt? And then Brian goes, It was thunderstruck. If you want thunderstruck to out there, you best tune up your kit. It doesn't get any better than that. It's a very pleasant travel. Vinny, I'm begging you, please go back to the Turtle Man. Can't do that. I'll tell you what, though. There, there's something rather bizarre about Turtle Man. I probably have said this before, but Turtle Man is now inextricably linked to 9-11 in my mind. Not even saying that to try to be like an edgy, funny lord, but because of the nature of the, the rumors and that story and how bizarre everything is, 
I see Turtle Man, and I'm just like, oh, 9-11. So, I guess I have the internet to blame for this, and probably myself as well, but... So, when you say, Vinny, go back to Turtle Man, I just, like, my brain just starts conjuring images of, like, not-so-great things. Like, really bad things. And, uh, I don't know if that's better than at least Brian Johnson's being fed. Like, sure, the bit's a little weird, but at least he's getting his yum-yums. He's getting his food. And Angus is being a good father. Bird. Dear God. All right, set your teammates on fire. Oh, you can set the gun on... Maybe. Oh, I think that just... Yeah, that just changes. I don't, I don't know if it actually ends up attacking. I, they're really good at burning themselves to death. See if this gun actually shoots them. Oh, never mind. Jump down. Come on through. Yeah, they find ways around it. Feel good? Just a little bit of a delayed reaction there, fella. He was like, hmm, what is this strange sense? Oh, death.
Does Angus feed him by hand or barf into his mouth like an actual bird? Oh, I didn't explain that. Well, thank you for bringing that bit back up. I was pretty much ready to let that go. But no, uh, he regurgitates. All right, Brian, let me, let me feed you a little bit of food here. All right, all right. Wow, I've lost viewers over the past couple minutes. That's weird. I don't really know why. No, I gotta do all this again? Oh, fuck right off. I thought you could sneak under that. Alright, Brian, let's try it again. I need the fret. Got your favorite meal. Worms and grubs. Delicious. Well, that sucks, chat. I feel like a dipshit. Also, stealth in this game is not the easiest thing. Like, I'm pretty rubbish at stealth sections in video games anyway, but... This is one of the sections that's easy to stealth. Oh. One down. I swear to god, it's like a comedy of errors. Except it's only funny to, to, to chat, not me. Oh wow, the knife upgrade was no joke. You're serious. Please stop that. Doesn't shoot. Doesn't shoot the, uh, Ganados or soldiers, whatever you want to call them. Unless maybe it was just, like, too close. Or not close enough. Whatever. Literally killed himself with his own Maltov with zero input from Vin. That happened? That's awesome.
Again, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a really long day for me. So, I'm, like, at the edge of my sanity. I probably don't have... Well, I can play another half hour. I just really enjoy playing the game. The game is fun, so I like playing it, but I also need to take a sleep. Not bad, right? Yeah, Leon, we saw it. Vinny, did you go to any pools recently? The fuck is that? Some kind of sleeper agent shit? That's like a phrase when two spies, like, like, meet in a movie. In, like, a park. And they, like, one spy is on the bench already with the briefcase, and the other spy sits on the bench next to him. And is like, Yes, have you been to any pools lately? The weather in France is quite nice this time of year. And then they exchange briefcases. Oh, the pool of insanity. I see what you're doing there. I, I didn't really get that at first from that. No, I'm fine. I'm just, just normal as usual. Just doing cool, normal things. Excuse me. Like I said, no insanity here lately. Stealthy Leon S. Kennedy. The S in Leon S. Kennedy is actually uh, short for, for stealth. But in order to be stealthy, he has to kick boxes open using his leg foot foots. <laughs> high, uh, high velocity leg foot kick. <laughs> I wanted to say boot and foot, and I said foot.
love that increased uh, knife durability. These are my stabbing shoes. Uh, Tommy Tallarico apparently didn't make a lot of his own music. Says, uh, um, Elizarin. I don't know. It's possible. I've read uh, a number of things about Tommy Tallarico lately. You know, he was on a show. First time I heard of him, he was he was on a show that was like the X Play competition show. I don't remember the name of it, but like. He did Electric Playground. And there were two hosts. He was one of them. And the other guy, I remember thinking... And, and again, this is going to be... Um, oh, Victor Lucas. I remember getting a weird feeling about him. Because he, he just always had these really edgy opinions. And was very, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Obstinate? Um... Like, he didn't like fun. I remember at that time, like, he just... If it was anywhere near a hint of cutesy, he was out. And I remember just thinking to myself, I don't like this guy that much. That's really my only anecdote about Tommy Tellerico. I don't, I don't know what music he made, what he didn't make. Um... But yeah, he was just like, a, he was tough to watch. And his reviews were kind of annoying. That's all I knew about him at the time. And then, of course, there's this cool thing happening now with the, um... What is it? The ColecoVision? What's he doing? He's doing a thing, and there's, like, some con shit happening. Where people aren't getting their products, and he... I don't know what... Amico, Amico. Allegedly. I don't know what's happening. I'm only vaguely aware of it. But it seems like the whole thing is a big mess, and people are talking about it. And people want to, like, defend him and die on the hill of defending him. And then there are people who are very, very much against him. But, yeah, apparently the dude also uh, didn't make some of his own music that he claimed he made 100%. So I, I, it's just all messy. And uh, I don't want to get too into it. Because I don't know all the details, and I'll probably get them wrong. But, yeah, I just didn't love his reviews. That's that's really the only thing I remember about him. Did you see someone got Black Mesa to work in VR? I didn't see that, but I did see that Jedi Knight 2... ...is now... ...has a trailer. Oh, fuck. Jedi Knight 2 has a, a trailer for VR. This isn't good. With lightsaber physics. Enhanced lightsaber physics. God damn it. And, and that looks good. That looks like a great VR mod. Suplex! Ah, god damn you. Give me a break already. Good aim. Good aim with a flaming crossbow. Did you see that the Jedi Fallen Order sequel is like 150 plus gigabytes? Oh dear fucking god. Here we go again. Hundred and fifty-five gigabytes, come on.
Do people just not know how to compress their video game? I don't know how to compress a video game, so I'm not gonna judge too much, but... Like, is there not a way to compress that data a little bit? They stop compressing for faster load times. But, like, even, like, I have several hard drives. I have, like, a, a bunch of SSDs. And... I use them, like, each of my videos that ends up... So, at the end of, like, a four-hour stream, the file size is about 14 gigs. Which is pretty fucking big. So, I keep my audio for a while. Uh, audio, sorry. I keep my videos for a while. Um, and then, you know, Johnny uploads them. I think Johnny keeps a backup. No, that is normal. 14 gigs is normal for the, you know, 1080p... Uh, quality that we're going for. And it's not even the best 1080p, because YouTube, like, kind of... The streaming quality gets lowered a bit. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's just, like, between my Steam games, between that, between, like, my music files, like, waves, uncompressed waves are huge. So, I mean, I get it, things take up a lot of space, but even with all my hard drives, I find myself still running out of space, and I have to, like, delete old stuff constantly, and, um, kind of play, like, musical chairs with hard drives. And, like, I don't want to record to the same hard drive I'm playing games on, or, um, that my OS is on, which is a whole other thing, and the reason I do that is just to... Actually, I don't know why I do that. That might be... I might have some flawed reasoning for that one. Buy bigger HDDs. They get expensive, man. And you know what? I did. My last one was 2 gigs. My... the... My OS is on a 2 gig SSD. My games are on a 2 gig SSD. And then I have a 1 and a 1. Oh, a terabytes, not gigs. <laughs> Sorry. I remember a day when a gigabyte was still a lot. Um, two terabytes. So I, I think I have about, yeah, six terabytes from SSDs. And then I have um, some removable, like, plug-in hard drives. This where they're keeping Ashley? Buy some 20 TB hard drives. I mean, the problem with that is, again, I, I want them to be on SSDs. And, uh, I don't think a 20 terabyte SSD is going to be all that affordable. I don't even think they make those at the moment. How much- do they- hang on a second. Highest is 4 terabyte. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Business expense. Fair enough, but I still have to pay the fucking price for it, which is... How much NVMe is getting cheaper every day right now? Yeah, I have NVMe, I have two of them. Um, how much is a 4 gig, a terabyte SSD NVMe? 8 terabyte SSD for like a grand. Jesus. Well, let's just say this. I'm okay deleting games I don't play to make room. Like, I, I'm complaining about this, but 155 gigs is a lot for a game. But the truth is, if I'm not playing a game that's another 100 gigs, I don't mind just, you know, I'll just delete that. In a couple years, if I could get a 4 terabyte NVMe, like, for a decent price, and I, you know, it's not that I don't have the money for this stuff, I do, and I'm grateful that I do, and I appreciate that, chat members, for helping me out in that sense. The point is, though, Unless it's something I really, really need. 
And right now, I guess I really, really don't need it. But if every game ends up a Jedi Fallen Order, 155 gigs, then yeah, I probably will need to start upgrading, like, a lot. But I want to know what kind of hard drives Johnny has, because I think he has a backup of pretty much, like, all my videos. Hey, Johnny, are you here? He was. Yeah, I'm really kind of curious to see how much hard drive space Johnny has. Because I'm pretty sure he stores all of my stuff. Vinny, why does it take forever for freelance astronaut and other people to make corruptions? Oh boy. Well, that that's an interesting way to phrase that, chat member. Uh, but I'll tell you... As if you have... It's locked. I guess we're jumping around topics very quickly here, but, um... Johnny commented. I buy external HH HDDs when they go on sale. The sweet spot is 10 terabytes per. They go for about 150 to 180 per 10 terabytes. Wow. Damn, Johnny, that's commitment. And also, like... Damn. And that's a pretty good deal for, you know what, if you're going to do external and you don't need the, the SSDs, I don't see a problem with that. Very smart. It, it's just for saving data, there's no need for SSD. For me, yeah, I mean, just for like... The, the thing is, for um, what I do, which is record, like, local video, you know, while I'm streaming, and then also for video games, I want to have that shit on an SSD. If I, did, if I had, like, a huge backlog, like, um, my music, I do back up on HDDs. So, I do that, at the very least. Uh, we'll play a little bit more. Also, I was gonna say, in regards to corruptions, okay, so freelance astronaut and others, the reason it takes long for corruptions, finding stuff that is genuinely funny, that we haven't seen a thousand times, which we still do see corruptions that are similar to past corruptions, like for a big showcase, yeah, it takes a while, and I don't know what... The process is, next corruption stream I do, or maybe one of the next ones I do, I know I'm going to be doing like a little tutorial where I actually even learn how to do kind of some of the stuff that they do, but I know that it's a lot more difficult than it seems, especially for the level of quality that they get, specifically freelance. Some of those corruptions take a very, very long time, and those corruptions are fucking hilarious. So, you know, good things come to those who wait. But yeah, it's not as easy as press button, get funny. I think, um... You know, when... If you're corrupting Donkey Kong Country... In 2011... Press button, get funny... Maybe if you haven't seen corruptions like that... Sure, it's a little funnier. But, um, at this point in time, it's, it's quite... Quite literally, we've done everything. Literal. So yeah, it takes a while to find new and funny ones, and, uh, especially if you're corrupting... ...you know, GameCube games, PS2 games, it's a lot more that goes into it, as far as I'm aware. As opposed to just, um, a Super Nintendo game where you can make Donkey Kong Gold, and then the music goes, Meow! ...and everyone laughs. So yeah, it takes a while, it's, it's a process. And it's not an exact science, either, it's a lot of randomness. And you have to kind of just combine random functionality with other random corruptions until you get something that will make... I don't know... make a human being's meat jiggle. Which is another abstract concept. I mean, if it makes the corruptor laugh, it doesn't necessarily mean everyone's going to enjoy it. Ashley! Ashley! Come on, Ashley, wake up! Shit! Hang in there. 
Where is the line between corruption and mods? Well, a mod, you're going in very deliberately to do a funny thing. And you're adding even maybe external stuff. Like, okay, so a, a lot of mods would be you're bringing in assets from outside the game itself. But corruptions, it's you're pressing a series of random buttons and then saving the most interesting, funny ones. So it's, to me, there's a pretty distinct line, but I can see how that would be blurred for some people. Mods are, yeah, it's predicted, and it's intentional. Some corruptions are less random. I'm sure they are, but the concept is still, you know, starting from, let's see what we find. And if it's funny, we can then do more with it. That's my assumption. But I think there's, um, that's probably a, an oversimplification of this whole thing. Oh, God. And I think I'm going to learn even more about that when, when I do my own, uh, when I learn this stuff. Are you going to play CS2 when it releases? Yeah, I'm in no rush, but I'll probably play it. It's it's similar enough to the uh, base CSGO that I don't think I'm going to end up getting, like, super, super addicted. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play it. It's just when CSGO came out, I got pretty addicted to that for a while because it was... There were a lot of new mechanics, a lot of new, like, engine stuff. New weapons. You're serious. The levels look nicer. But yeah, I'm kind of excited to see some of the new level uh, upgrades for CS2. And the smoke grenades seem fun. But other than that, I mean, it's... You know, the tick rate is nice, of course. But Counter-Strike is such, like, a finely tuned thing. It's like, if they added, like, a new weapon every season, that would be a reason to go back to it. But it's like, how do you even... Like, fuck with that formula. I do like the idea of alternate weapons. But... Yeah, pretty much everything you need for every utility is already in the game. Lighting in this game is so good. Would you be down for Dino Crisis remakes? In the style of Resident Evil remakes. I've never played Dino Crisis, but it... If it plays like this, and looks this good, and there's dinosaurs, yes. Will they put feathers on the dinosaurs? That's the real question. 
And chat, I'll be honest, in a horror context, I think just leave the feathers off. <laughs> Even though I have played Far Cry and cassowaries are as horrifying as any dinosaur I've ever seen. Incorrect take. Okay. I'm just saying the, the cassowaries in Far Cry were scary. Bad. Okay. All right. Bad opinion. I get you. Wait, wait. I don't know what the bad opinion is. I had like three different points I made. Was it that feathers on dinosaurs are less cool than? Whoa. Feather dinos are lame, but aren't feather feather dinos real? Did you see that T Rexes had big lips? Yes, I've heard about this. This came up recently, yes. Ah, oh, hello, stranger. Ooh, you have the stench of battle on you, mate. <laughs> a weird place to Welcome. set up. Welcome, Wilden. What can I do you for? Give that the care it deserves, mate. Oh, there's the upgrade ticket. Ah, that's the ticket. How have we procured these curiosities? <laughs> you don't. A deal well struck. <laughs> Anything else? A pleasant travel. It was a case by case basis for which dinos had feathers. All the cool ones had feathers. Well, I, you know, I'm not saying I, I like birds. Birds have feathers. I don't know if you knew that. Birds are pretty cool. But that image, God, it just sticks with you of, of the, the dinosaur from like Jurassic Park. And so the idea of a T-Rex with feathers, it just, just does, it, it's weird. It's just hard to wrap your head around. Does the bird Brian Johnson have feathers? Yeah, I think a couple. Can you do a dinosaur tier list? I don't really, you know what? When I was younger, I had those dinosaur books. I, I couldn't tell you which dinosaurs are which at this point in time. I know the, the main ones, and I've been to Natural History Museum somewhat recently. I like a lot of different dinosaurs. They're all pretty cool. So I wouldn't be able to really do that. But I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. Maybe I'll save here and... Uh Something tells me we've got a very interesting sequence up ahead. Like a very interesting sequence. Because chat does not want me to quit. Wait a minute, was that a regenerator? Did, did it have a dumpy?
Your key card application has been approved by the head of the department. Please bring your level 1 key card to dissection and follow procedure on the next page. Overwrite card for level 2 clearance using machine located in freezer. Overwrite card for level 3 clearance using the machine located in incubation, incubation lab. Please ask each section supervisor for permission to access the machines. The OG Reggie also had a massive cake. I want you to realize what you just typed. Give that to an English professor. And just say, hey, what does this mean? OG Reggie was a, was caked. Well, there was another word in there. It was That was a really interesting sentence. You have an English degree. Okay, well, I know what all of those things mean. But, like, take it to someone who, you know... Like, works at Harvard or something. Like, can you decipher this? What do you think of this sentence? Oh, breaks over, I suppose. Didn't quite mean to come back here so soon. I see. I see what's going on here. Hear the regenerator. How would you feel if every puzzle in... Move the button all the way to the right? Look at the red... Oh, I was wondering what was going on here. Again, it's... it's real late. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. No? Insufficient power. Oh, I need to give more power. You have it? Yep, I see it now. Christ. What kind of experiments are they doing here? Date April 9. At last, I have created a new life. Call it Regenerate. Regenerador. Regenerator. Its metabolic capacity is incredible. Unless all the parasites residing within the organism are destroyed, its tissue can regenerate indefinitely. Upon examining the body with a biosensor scope, I was able to confirm that the parasites behave like vital organs for the host, almost as though it has multiple hearts. 
This new creation of mine is essentially immortal. Surely even Dr. Frankenstein himself would want to shake my hand in admiration. I shared the news of my achievement with the pretentious bastard colleague of mine. His face went white. Then he started scribbling something in his notebook. I thought he'd be impressed, but instead he actually had the nerve to warn me of the so-called dangers. He's a fool. I have everything under control. <laughs> the subject went wild and escaped from its cryogenic tank. I was the real fool. That didn't take very long. Oh, 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 nice surprise there. Come on. It's regenerating. It's regenerating. I, I, there's a squeaky thing in there. I'm wondering if there's an item I missed. This is level one. <laughs> Gun rhymes with fun for a reason, stranger. Like Metal Gear. Oh, fuck off. Not another one. Shit, again? Not a good time to attempt that. Ah, two of them. Where am I going? Where am I going? Uh. 
It's okay, chat. They're, they're, everything's fine now. Wait, 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 I got something. Ah, it's that one again. They're waiting for you to finish up. Yeah, well, they're, they're patient monsters. Totally not an MP5. Brian Johnson. See the for a second it was showing. Oh, they're fucking awful. <sighs> hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I find the scope. The scope. Not here. Don't jiggle. Stop that jiggling. I keep getting lost in here too. Yeah, I'm like yam braining this. I think I accidentally hit the right spot. Basically immortal. Oh, there's no item. That's just the light. They just die after regenerating a lot. Oh. That could explain that as well. I didn't even see it. Oh, we that's weird. Uh, yeah, low power. I'll tell you who's low power right now. Me.
I'll just go back to the merchant now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we're done there. Why not treat yourself, mate? All right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, brain empty. Good night. Game good. Still enjoying it quite a bit. And um, those regenerators are still pretty good. Still pretty good. See you guys soon. I don't know when, but soon. Well, I probably will just be around on Sunday. But if I have the chance to do a Resident Evil bonus stream, I wouldn't be opposed to that either. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'll just be around Sunday for Sunday stream. And I'll also, uh, next week, probably do a finish Donkey, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. I can speak words, I swear. And I have some other stuff I'd like to do as well. But yeah, I'm good. Good night now. Good night then. Also, pre-record stuff. I've got Dredge coming up. I've got Wild Frost and uh, a couple other things too. And also, the conclusion of the forest. Sons of the Forest. Say goodbye. Oh, that's what that button is. I always forget. It just says goodbye. <laughs> well, goodbye.